All right, today let's talk about Castor. Now, Castor is not a human character. That's that's his entire name because he's a spirit. In fact, he's a satyr or a fawn, depending on what terminology you prefer. Um, I think the story mostly calls him a fawn just for sake of clarity, but I instinctively call him a satyr. At any rate, he's a spirit that just kind of hangs around. He's someone who noticed Madison as someone who could see him and for whatever reason decided to just keep hanging out with him. This was not by Madison's invitation. In fact, Madison seems more often than not kind of annoyed with his input. But he does hang around a fair bit, and he does give his opinion on things that are happening. And Madison does seem to have a certain rapport with him. Like, he acts like he doesn't really want him around, but he doesn't ever generally actually chase him off. And they do have decent conversations sometimes. At least one story, in fact, he calls on Castor to step in and help with a situation that he needs that kind of help with, that Castor is particularly skilled at helping with, or at least seems like he would be capable of handling. Now, Castor is fairly freewheeling. He's a pretty uh, mellow guy who just kind of is bouncing around doing his thing. And this comes from kind of where they come from in Greek mythology, where they're entities that hang out a lot with nymphs and are very active in seducing nymphs and just hanging out and playing music and dancing in the woods. And that's Castor's daily life when he's not in the story. And you get glimpses of that occasionally. And at one point when Madison is single and he's trying to help Madison out, he suggests he could just set him up with a water spirit because why not? He knows a million of them because of the nymphs he hangs out with. And Madison has to tell him that he would actually prefer having a human girlfriend, which confuses Castor. He also has a pretty overt crush on Jackie, which uh, Jackie does not reciprocate. So that creates some fun situations. Despite the way Castor kind of carries himself as this freewheeling guy, he is actually fairly suspicious of a number of things and, fairly, and pretty observant about what's going on around him. He gets concerned about Lori when they first meet and does not trust her. He also notices that the two are hanging around Madison and his extended family kind of a lot, and he presses them for information on why that is. He never really gets an answer at this point in the story, but he is pushing for that because he recognizes there's something unusual about the way that the two are invested in this particular family, but he doesn't know what it is, and he's not sure that he trusts it. Aside from those things, though, his main purpose in the story is comic relief. He's just kind of a weird guy and kind of amusing, and has a different perspective on things that are happening than all the human characters, or even the characters that are part human, or try to blend in with human society, or even exist in the physical realm, which Castor does not. He's a purely metaphysical being who never crosses over and has really no capacity to do so. And anyway, Castor is a fun little character. I enjoy writing him. I hope you enjoy reading him. You can find more of his story here at talltalesuf.com. Enjoy.